I've got a big uh, mentor who is unfortunately not with me anymore, which is Randy Taylor, who I mentioned in the book. And he was, uh, and I mean, he was a, a student of my grandfather's. So my grandfather was a professor of theology. And nice. so I spent most of my life growing up being Professor A.M. Hunter's grandson. And when I was yeah. touring and living in the States, the, the tailors took me under the wing. But he was one of the people who brought the North and the South churches together in the, in the U.S. Nice. But he also, he was, he was the minister at First Presbyterian in Atlanta, and he helped organize the march to Washington. So he nice. brought this differing views of different people. He had this amazing ability to listen to people of different sides of the arguments, extremes in this case with race and everything else in there. And he had the ability to listen with curiosity and make them feel valued. So he was a big mentor. And whenever I'm thinking I'm in a tough place, I just think about him sitting on a rocking chair in Montreat, North Carolina, with a pipe in his mouth, smoking, a bit like Gandalf, <laughs> and yeah. just reflecting. And he was a brilliant dad, a, a brilliant mentor to me but he just had that ability to bring all the sides together. So that that's one. Um, the second thing that's actually a bit of a surprise for me, and this is quite personal to me, but my father passed away a couple of months ago. Um, and I wasn't close to my, really close to my father for a long while. It was only after his death that I realized he'd, he'd developed the, um, the technology with echo to uh, identify abnormalities in babies' hearts. Wow. But he'd spent most of his life at work yeah. It was only when I was reading the the almost the eulogies and the other things coming out about the people who he'd influenced, I suddenly realized it could have been me. It could have been yeah. me, but I never saw him that way because I saw him tired. I, he lost babies' lives. And therefore, the, there's a piece for me that I'm, I'm using him as a rock for me now, which is leadership and running a business is important, but life is important. So how am I treating my daughters? How am I treating my friends? Yeah. And I never get to the point that I do one thing to the you know, detriment of another. So that balance in life. So that, those would be the two people in my life that I would have said are massive for me. 